Welcome to the Shining Time Station Drive-In Movie Theater. Conveniently located one mile past Barton Winslow's General Store and directly across the road from Jenny's Farm. Tonight's episode stars Stacy Jones, Schemer, Mr. Conductor, the kids from Shining Time, along with the Jukebox Band and Thomas the Tank Engine. So get your ticket for another full-length adventure of Shining Time Station. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there. Hiya, Dan! Hiya, Becky! We're in here! Oh, hi, Mr. King. Hello, children. Where is everybody, Aunt Stacy? Well, Billy's working on the Sunset Flyer, and I'm off to Chubby Corners. Yes, duty calls, children. Railroad work is never done. The station master at Chubby Corners needs Miss Jones's help today. Well, who's going to run Shining Time Station? Well, Mr. King has volunteered to run Shining Time Station while I'm gone. Yes, absolutely, and I'm very glad to do it, too. Shining Time is a very special, special place, and I'm glad to be able to step in for the day. Stacy, do you want us to come with you to Chevy Corners? Well, actually, uh, Mr. King has a favor to ask of you. I do? Oh, yes, 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 I do. Uh, well, thank you, Miss Jones, uh, for that uh, sensible introduction that got right to the point. <laughs> Um, my young uh, nephew, uh, Buster, is going to be uh, visiting here this afternoon, and I was just wondering if you children might want to, uh, well, would like to, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Miss Jones? Uh, Play, sir? Play, yes, exactly, Miss Jones, excellent. Sure, we'll play with him. It would be fun to play with somebody new. Excellent, excellent, good, uh, yes. That you children can play and, uh, I, of course, will take care of uh, serious adult railroad business. Well, it's uh, it's all settled then. Hmm? Well, I'm off to Chubby Corners. Goodbye, Miss Jones. <laughs> yes. I will take care of serious adult railroad business starting right now. Now, let's see. Where would he be? Now, about Buster, you know, Mr. King's nephew. <clears throat> well, I hear he's not the easiest kid in the world to get along with. So, will you try to be nice to him and make him feel welcome here, okay? Okay. okay. Promise? Promise. Promise. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. When do you think Buster will get here? Um, I don't know. Let's go ask Mr. King. Yeah. Did you lose something? Uh, no. Did you drop something? Uh, no. Then why are you on the floor? Oh, I know. You're looking for Mr. Yeah. Conductor. No! Ow! Oh. Well, yes. Have you seen him? No. no. See, I have the very strong uh, feeling that... Mr. Conductor is right here in this station today. Well, sure, we see him all the time. Yeah, we now, know uh, he's our friend. Please, never interrupt an adult when he, she, it, or they are speaking, yes? Yes. yes. Good. Well, I was, as I was saying, I have come to the conclusion after extensive research and an examination of all the facts that Mr. Conductor spends most of his time right here in Shining Time Station. <laughs> Uh, He's right please, here. Didn't we agree that there would be no more interrupting? Didn't we agree? Yes. I'm still being interrupted. 
But if you just listen. And yet the interruptions go on. I can only suggest that we lock our lips and throw away the key. Good. Now, as I was saying, I know that Mr. Conductor is here in this station somewhere, and I am going to find him. <laughs> well, you don't believe me. You'll see. I'll find him. Um, are you Buster? This is Becky. I'm Dan. Hi, Buster. Um, your uncle is in there. If you want to say hello. I like your uncle. I do, too. He's funny. Yeah. He's a loser. No, he's not. I say he's a loser. Are you calling me a liar? Do you want me to beat you up? No. Then he's a loser, right? Right? Right. We promised to be nice to him, remember? Yeah. Have you ever been to Shining Time Station before? There's lots to do here. Do you want to play a game? What are you doing? I'm doing what I feel like doing. Drawing on the wall. Don't do that. Who's going to stop me? Buster. Oh, hello, Uncle JB. Those were great directions you gave me. I had no trouble finding my way here. No wonder you're the head of the railroad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> I see you've met uh, young Dan and Becky. Good. Yeah, they were showing me around. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, then, uh, you children run along and uh, have fun. <laughs> yes, uh, go out there and have fun. <laughs> yes, fun. It's an interesting idea. I don't have time for it, but... Uh, it is the work of children, so work hard at having fun. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have uh, some more serious railroad business to take care of. <laughs> oh, hey, little guy. Hello, little fella. Why won't you... Let me see you, Mr. Conductor. I just want to be your friend. I have an idea. Let's make something. Um, do you want to make... I'll make something. I'll make a mustache on this funny-looking guy. Stop it. You do that, and I'm going to tell. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If you tell, I'll have my uncle throw his aunt out of work. My uncle is her boss. He can fire her. You don't want his aunt to get fired, do you? No. <sighs> Good. If you draw on that, I'm still going to tell. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, <sighs> lucky for you, my pen just ran out of ink. <sighs> Dan! How's my pal, Dan? I'm fine. What's all this junk over here? This is Game of Arcade. What does this stuff do? Well, that shows movies. Nothing in here. And that plays music. It's all playing music. Break it 
it up, break 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 it up, huh? Hey, what's the idea of picking on a kid half your size, huh? He took my nickel. Oh, he did, huh? Give me that thing, open up. There you go, Dan. Thank you, Steve. You're entirely welcome. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you know that? Who are you, anyway? That's for me to know and you to find out. Oh, a wise guy. He's J.B. King's nephew. Oh, he's J.B. King's ne... Uh, the J.B. King? The exalted head, supreme ruler of the Indian Valley Railroad, J.B. King? Yeah, what's it to ya? Give me that nickel, give me... Skip! Give me the... There you are. Welcome to Shining Time Station, my newfound friend, my buddy, huh? My pal. <laughs> Listen, if there is anything that your pal Schema can do for you, just tell me, and you can ask, and it will be done. Make this something work. Well, certainly. You take your newfound nickel and put it in the machine. I'm going to keep Dan's nickel for myself. You put your nickel in the machine. <laughs> Wait a second. Now, Schema doesn't put this. Are you going to give me trouble? Oh, someone taught that bully how this thing works. Uh, he was giving rock and roll a whole new meaning. Yeah, and my stomach a whole new meaning, too. Oh. That bully's too big for his britches. Let's show him and play something we want to play. Sing it, piano man. The nights are gay and the sun shines daily on the mountain top. I took a trip on a sailing ship and when I reached Jamaica I made a stop. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a day. My heart is down, my head is turning around. I had to leave a little girl in King's compound. Sounds of laughter everywhere and the dancing girls swaying to and fro. I must declare my heart is there, though I've been from Maine to Mexico. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a day. My heart is down, my head is turning around. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. For many a day, my heart is down, my head is turning around. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. Oh, 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 oh. Eh, that was okay. Now I want something else. Well, I hope you find it. Not so fast. I know what it is. An ice cream cone. Get me an ice cream cone. An ice cream cone? I said... Get me an ice cream cone. An ice cream cone? Or I tell my uncle. Well, there's no reason for that. I mean, I could easily just... No! Hey, Squirt, you got any more nickels? No. I think you're lying. Let go! Let go! Buster, what are you doing? Oh, we're having fun. Oh. <laughs> You're having fun. Oh, yes, Uncle JB. Lots and lots of fun. Well, excellent, excellent. Well, you carry on and uh, work hard at having fun. But don't uh, forget to give yourself a five-minute rest every once in a while. If you're still here, when I get back, I'm going to beat you up. Don't let Buster push you around. He's bigger than me. So? Don't be afraid of him. He just wants to scare you. He said he'd beat me up. I don't want to get beaten up. Let's go talk to Mr. King. He'll help us. Mr. King? Look! Look what I found! It's his footprints! 
can we talk to you? Huck, certainly. You know what this means, don't you? Mr. King. It means I'm getting close to finding him. Mr. King. I can sense his presence. I can practically have him in my grasp. Come on, Dan. He's not going to help us. I'm just going home. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's see, where do these footprints lead? Having troubles, Dan? Bully troubles. Oh, so Buster's playing the bully game. The bully game? Well, you see, there are some people who push other people around because it makes them feel important. It's a mean sort of game that bullies play. But you can play your own game, Dan. Show Buster you can stand up for your rights without picking a fight. Are there any bullies on the island of Sodor? Oh, yes, even on the island of Sodor. I think it's time I told you about Bulgy. <laughs> Did Bulgy ever beat up anybody? Well, I can't say that he did, but he did lie, and he did make fun of the engines. And that's another way of being a bully. But Buster said he beat me up. I'm going to hide. Now, wait. Let's examine the situation. I'm going to hide first. Dan, instead of hiding, have a look in here. That guy who spoils the cowboy's fun. The one who always hides behind a mustache and a gun. The one who comes around and makes the gentle people run. He's the bad guy. The bad guy. Who is that guy who's always in your way? The one who wants to beat you up when you just want to play. The one who, like a thunderstorm, can ruin a summer day. He's a bad guy. A bad guy. Sometimes it seems he's all over the place. Chopping out from bushes, throwing dirt in your face. It seems your life is cursed and you don't know what to do. Oh, well, my friend, I got a helpful piece of news for you. A bully's a guy who likes to think he's tough. But underneath, he's gutless as his mama's powder puff. And if you finally stand your ground and shout, I've had enough! That bully will get going when he sees the going's rough. And you're a good guy who's now a glad guy. And the bad guy is now a sad guy. Cause you got mad. Does that give you any ideas? I'd better hide. Sometimes with a bully, you just have to stand up to them. Say, I've had enough. But this guy is big. What if I talk to him? 
Oh, no, Mr. Conductor. He's mean. Stay away from him. Maybe he'll listen to me. He picks on me because I'm smaller. He'll really pick on you. You better hide, too. Please. Hey, Squirt. Is still here? Oh, no. Mr. Conductor, please disappear. Who's that you're talking to? Nobody. Nobody, huh? What's that you got behind your back? It's that tiny guy my dumb uncle's always looking for. Get out of my way! No! I said, get out of my way or I'll beat you up! No! I said, I'd beat you up! You get away from here. Leave Mr. Conductor alone! One hand on Mr. Conductor. Now, I'll turn you upside down. Upside down? I'll, I'll spin you around by your feet. My feet? I'll stick that ice cream cone on your head. Now, take it easy. Calm down, will ya? Give me my nickel back. Here, here. Uh, take your nickel. Just don't hurt me, please. Ah, Buster. <laughs> Here's another ice cream cone for you. Stay away from that kid. He's dangerous. Oh, wow. Wait till J.B. King finds out that you scared off his nephew. His very special favorite nephew. Yeah, we'll see how tough you are after I tell my dumb uncle what happened. Then I can draw on the walls all I want. Oh, hello, Uncle J.B. I, I was just telling them about how well you run the railroad. You're already in enough trouble, Buster. Don't make it worse by lying to me. Oh, but whatever do you mean, Uncle JB? We were just having fun. Buster, we'll talk later. Wait for me outside. I never get to have any fun. It's all his fault. Outside. Dan, in behalf of the entire King family, I apologize to you. Uh, I'd just like to point out that it was uh, all my idea that he did what he did. <laughs> Here's a little ice cream cone for you. And if uh, you have any other problems that you need to be solved, just uh, give me a call. Oh, exalted one. You were protecting someone smaller than yourself, weren't you? Well, that was a mighty fine thing to do. I'm proud of you, Dan. May I shake your hand? <laughs> I think you should have this. And I think I should go have a little talk with my nephew. Did you get to see Mr. Conductor? No. But I somehow think he had his little hand in all of this, didn't he? So now I know that he's around here somewhere. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station Where dreams can come true Waiting there for you So much to see So far to travel So much to learn to know Friends by your side Hopes to hold on to Who knows how far you'll go To a shining time station where dreams can come true Your own imagination Waiting there for you We hope you've enjoyed the show and that you'll come back and see us again soon. Remember to drive carefully and have a safe trip home. <laughs>